Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be discussing one of the biggest topics that you probably clicked on this YouTube video to find out about. The chances of the Chinese space station falling in Michigan or where it's going to be falling. Um, we have several YouTubers who are tracking this thing, including myself. Uh, a lot of us will be live streaming this simultaneously here on this channel and some other ones. But let's get down to the brass tacks. You're going to have to stay in, in touch with us to basically figure out where it's going, what's going to be happening, because it will spread across a large area. Some believe that the pieces of, of this giant satellite, uh, satellite, the Tengong-1, will actually land in Michigan. That's a possibility. Um, we are tracking it along with a lot of different countries and their technology. Luckily, this is available to us at this moment. This Chinese space station will come crashing down to Earth soon, so, you know, please stay in touch. Uh, and to be honest, scientists can't seem to agree exactly where it's going to fall. Now, you have to imagine the size of the Tangon 1. This thing is bigger than a school bus. It is 34 foot by 11 foot vessel and it will likely burn up entirely as it re-enters the earth atmosphere. The odds of it landing in Michigan are extremely small but aren't zero. Like I said this thing will uh, it will cover a great distance as it comes down because it's uncontrolled. If you've, uh, if you've missed any of the other previous videos please uh, check out some of those so that you can, you can get up to date in any of the future ones that we'll be doing I'm going to have to start labeling these from one till our live stream when we're actually live streaming it coming and re-entering um, re the Earth's atmosphere and crashing somewhere on this planet. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them down in the comments. We'll try to answer them as we can. And uh, I know people of Michigan are, are probably a little... A little freaked out in southern Michigan right now because it was just a few weeks ago that a meteorite came down over Brighton, Michigan, if you know where that is. And that was a pretty big object, you know, and it caused a big explosion. There was a bright flash of light everywhere, and people saw it for many, many miles away. And it didn't hit anyone, it didn't cause any damage. So the likely scenario that the same thing could happen again, could happen twice, is pretty good. But we do have um, projected maps. We do have a, a tracking device. We are tracking this satellite. We're trying to keep up with what's going on. But this thing is huge. It's not a small, it's not a small vessel. That's, that's what I'm here to point out. Like I said, it's 34 foot by 11 foot vessel. Think of that. It's bigger than a school bus. It's the best way I know to put it. And... Uh, most of, the, most of the Earth scientists really just can't seem to agree where it's going to fall. So I want you to stay tuned and uh, follow us along as, as, as we figure out what's happening and where it's going. Thank you again. This is Rebel State Sovereign signing out. Please stay tuned for the live stream as we live stream this thing if we can because it may fall in some remote part of the Earth where one of our YouTube live streamers are not at. I'm going to throw that in there just in case. Um, there's a couple places, you know, <laughs> let's say it falls in Antarctica. We don't have anybody there in Antarctica to film. It would probably be one of the scientists there that would film. It probably wouldn't be a YouTuber. Maybe we'd get some video of it and be able to share it for you guys. But if it falls in you know, almost any country right now, we're, we're going to be able to live stream it and actually show you as it's happening and where it's happening and let you know the states or the countries that it will be covering so please stay tuned. Thank you so much. Rebel State Sovereign out. Much love.